Hey YouTube, I'm just gonna do just a little update to keep you guys what's going on and just to warn you, and I'm sorry about my voice, it's going out, I'm a little sick, been trying a little too hard in basketball, but um, but basically this is just like a, like a scammer alert, just watch out for this guy. Um, I just lost my, um, not the binder I recently posted, but like a binder from two weeks ago. I just got scammed out of that. I originally sold it for $63, which I thought, um, I thought it'd be okay if we both sent at the same time, if we both had tracking. Um, that apparently wasn't the case. I sent out two weeks ago, exactly two weeks ago on a Monday, um, and um, I had the tracking and everything. He said he hadn't received and I thought that was kind of bullcrap because I looked at the tracking and it said it was delivered and it was the exact same address he gave me. Um, whenever I asked for the tracking code um, for his, he never gave it to me. He always dodged the question and I never really pieced it together. Um, it's been two weeks now. I'm sure he has my package and I haven't gotten anything. And a really sad thing is, is that I really didn't need that money. I'm not even angry. I'm not anything. I'm just really sad. Like, it just makes me so sad because I needed this money to get my hidden Arsenal 7 for the Evil Swarms. For regionals. So I can top and go to nationals. Um, this was a kind of a big thing because my best friend lives in Chicago and I never get to see her anymore because she moved and I really wanted to go. I wanted to top and I wanted to have a reason to go. I wanted to, I like, I graduate this year. That would have been like my senior vacation, my own little present to myself. And I kind of really needed that money so I can get the deck, so I can top. But now I'm dirt broke with hardly any trades and you leave me begging, asking for loans. And you just really fucked me over. Like, I'm not even angry. I'm just really disappointed in just how people are. This is the fourth time I've been scammed, and it's ridiculous. I got scammed by Protozeus. I got scammed by, um, freaking squad member. I got scammed by someone else. I don't remember. And then I get scammed by you. And that kind of really sucks. I mean, all my investments just going down. And it's just, you're not even scamming me for, like, anything real. You're scamming me over fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Do you know how pathetic that is? Like, seriously. It's really sad. But, um, just watch out for this, guys. Um, I can put his address in the description because he's in an apartment. But I will not put the apartment number. I'll just say the street and his name. Um, I don't have to put his apartment number, so that way you don't send him hate mail. Um, so I'll put his address, recognize the name, write it down somewhere. If you see the name somewhere, don't do it. If you see an address that looks like that, but with an apartment number, just don't don't even trade with that person. Um, so I'll put all the information in the description. Um, and I guess I'll just push my sale binder even more. Because you guys know I'm trying to sell like crazy. Um, Hidden Arsenal 7 boxes just went from 60 to $70. So now I'm even more screwed than I already am. Um, the boxes come out on April 19th and my regionals is April 27th. So yeah, I'm kind of stressing. And I only have $50. So, like I said, this first dead Xyz Reborn, I'll sell for $15. Um, I have two Ultra Rare D Prisons that I'll sell for $15 together for 15. Um, I'll sell an Exige Reborn, the D Prisons, and the Super Rare Debunk for 30. You get like a debunk for free. Um, I'm just trying to get, do anything at this point to get money because I don't have a job. I have school. Um, I can't multitask that well. But that's really what this is about. Be on the watch for him. His name is T. Lundy. T. Lundy? Yeah, it's T. Lundy. Um, he has a Facebook page, but I don't really see much activity on it. He has a Twitter. Um, he has a lot of stuff, but I just got scammed. I mean, he could say it got lost in the mail or something, but he never replies back. Um, and oh, and here's a big thing. I had commented on his trade proof saying that I hadn't received 
and quite coincidentally, a few hours later, right after I comment, he deletes the trade proof video. Okay, that's not suspicious, but that was just, like, if anything, okay, it might have got lost in the mail, but once you delete the trade proof after I say I haven't received, then you're just sealing your own fate. You're a scammer. Um, he still subscribed to me for whatever reason. I was going through my subscribers and he still subscribed to me. So, um, loser. Um, I'm not mad at you. I'm just really disappointed in you. Um, that's really all I have to say. Watch out for him, guys.